The jury deliberated for roughly 11 hours. Crumbly had pleaded not guilty after her son Ethan opened fire at Oxford High School, killing four classmates and injuring seven others. Now, this trial became a lightning rod for issues of parental responsibility, and it is the most high profile example of prosecutors going after parents for violent crimes committed by their children. I want to news reporter Lauren Glassberg is in the newsroom with the details. Lauren. Listen, David, this historic case may become legal precedent for future cases involving school shooters. This guilty verdict puts liability on parents who could now be scrutinized for not doing enough to prevent a child from doing violence, whether that is locking up weapons at home or addressing red flags regarding mental health issues. On count one of involuntary manslaughter as to Madison Baldwin, we find the defendant guilty of involuntary manslaughter. And the jury found Jennifer Crumbly guilty on all four counts of involuntary manslaughter. It is the first time a parent of a school shooter is being held responsible for a child's lethal actions. Her son, Ethan Crumbly, was 15 years old in 2021 when he killed four students and injured seven people at a school, Oxford High School in Michigan. He is spending life in prison. The gun he used was a gift from his parents. The prosecution had to prove either that Jennifer Crumley failed to secure the weapon or that she didn't provide ordinary care when it came to her son's mental health. She testified he showed no signs of mental illness. But on the morning of the shooting, a drawing on Ethan's math homework showed a shooting scene with the words blood everywhere and the thoughts won't stop. Help me. Ethan's parents were called to the school but didn't take Ethan home or check his bag or locker. Two hours later, Ethan killed four of his classmates. Jennifer testified she wished Ethan had killed her and his father instead. Now she faces 15 years in prison for each count. The father of one of those victims, Justin Schilling, spoke after the verdict saying this trial wasn't about winning or losing but stemming the tide of school shootings. You know, it's about, um, you know, making it apparent that, you know, this has to stop in society and, um, you know, it's, it, it's going to go all the way now. I mean, there's no, there's no um, way to look, look the other way. You know, you have to address things in, on every level. It's very clear now. Ethan Crumley's father is also going to trial on the same charges. That is expected to begin next month. And while Jennifer Crumley will likely appeal her conviction, her case opens the door for more cases like it where the parents of school shooters are held accountable.